general, what does Finnish National Agency for Education do in regard to the European Solidarity Corps? Hello, my name is Jutta Kivimäki. I work in the Finnish uh, National Agency for Erasmus Plus and European Solidarity Corps. We are called National Agency and the National Agency is uh, implementing the program European Solidarity Corps and also supporting the organizations uh, who, who will apply the money and, and who are hosting at, or sending the volunteers. What kind of support does the European Solidarity Corps offer for young volunteers with disabilities? Uh, for each vo volunteer who will part participate uh, to the European Solidarity Corps, it is uh, almost free of charge. So uh, your traveling, uh, your accommodation and your food and lodging will be reimbursed. Uh, you will also receive some pocket money. Uh, and. Um, it depends of the different abilities of the person, uh, you might get uh, other support as well. The main thing is that you will get that kind of support, uh, what you need in order to do your volunteering service or volunteering project. How common is that young people with disabilities participate in the European Solidarity Corps volunteering? This is not an easy question uh, because it is uh, not so uh, easy to know uh, which kind of abilities different uh, persons have. If the young person has a disability which is uh, visible, then, then, then you are more able to notice it. But uh, most uh, different kind of abilities are, are something that are not visible. So. Uh, I actually don't know how many uh, young people with different kind of disabilities are participating, but I hope that there are lots of young people with different kind of abilities participating in the program. How can young people with disabilities find information about European Solidarity Corps volunteer opportunities? You can uh, find information uh, about the uh, program by going to the European Youth Portal and find the European Solidarity Corps out of there. You will find the funding rules, you will find the uh, different kind of organizations, information about different kind of organizations who are involved in the program. And you can also uh, register uh, to the European Solidarity Corps database and from there you will also see, see different kind of offers that already are existing so you can find your volunteering placements there. From the same page man, you can also find the European Solidarity Corps uh, program guide if you are interested in, in reading more the funding rules or if you are interested in doing local uh, volunteering projects so you can also find the information from there. How can young people with disabilities learn more about the financial and human support and insurance that the European Solidarity Corps offers for them? If you go to the European Solidarity Corps uh, portal, you will find, find the opportunities uh, what are there and the funding rules and everything you will uh, find from the program guide. Uh, then it's uh, up to the young person. It depends on what kind of abilities you, you have so so that, that you will um, you will find that kind of uh, support that, that you need because also each young person needs to have the supporting organization from their own sending country so so from that country where you are from so to find find the organization so I, I also hope that these organizations can can help you uh, to find more information about the projects and the about the opportunities. If a person with a disability participates in the European Solidarity Corps, this person will be asked to tell before starting the volunteering project how much expenses will be involved in your support. What advice do you have for young people for calculating the expenses? It is really uh, necessary 
that the young person knows what kind of support uh, they need uh, when they do the volunteering service. It doesn't matter if it's a, a supporting pro uh, person, if it's a personal assistant, or is it a, a sign language uh, uh, interpreter, or or the, the uh, different kind of therapy. So so you will find that um, you should be able to say what is needed in order that that you are able to participate uh, to to the program. What advice would you give to receiving and sending organizations for preparing to work with young people with disabilities? For organizations, I hope uh, uh, that they are more open-minded and ready to uh, also try and give uh, give an examples uh, or possibilities uh, to to the young person with different kind of abilities to participate to the project. Maybe a little bit adapting the working task in that way that that people are able to participate or uh, think about different kind of uh, solutions. It is also uh, you can uh, the organizations can always also ask uh, help from the national agencies uh, who are able to maybe help help with the, its uh, financial uh, things, but also to. Uh, if you are, if you will uh, receive a volunteer um, who has uh, some kind of disability, to maybe contact uh, to your local uh, disability organizations uh, uh, in in order that that you will learn more about uh, this uh, and and are able to um, really develop the project in in that way that it is it is uh, safe and and uh, nice for the young person. What would you like to improve in the future in the European Solidarity Corps in order to make it more accessible to young people with disabilities? What support do you need in this regard? I like that in with this uh, uh, new program that has started in 21 and uh, uh, will be until 27. It is already possibly possibility for, for the organizations uh, to apply more money uh, when they have chosen the volunteers. So uh, that makes it possibility, possible uh, for the organizations to receive uh, different kind of young, young people so, so that they can receive more money if more support is needed. Uh, I, I would say that uh, the support is always tailor-made. So it's, uh, I can't say, say this kind of everything that what is needed because uh, it it's really depends on the young person, what kind of a, um, support they need, I hope that it will be provided. What greeting do you have for young people with disabilities who might be interested in applying for the European Solidarity Corps volunteering? Yeah, I, I really hope that this program is for all kind of young, young people. So it, it doesn't matter what kind of abilities you have, uh, this should be open, open for you. Uh, if you have some kind of uh, uh, ongoing therapies or, or uh, allowances coming from the government, please um, take time and also check that if, if it's possibly, possibility, uh, possible to continue uh, this uh, during your project, because the, that could be also possible. Also remember that there is a, this uh, um, insurance coming from the program and it's also possible to get some kind of uh, services uh, from that insurance if, if needed.